plaintiff, Lisa Randall, is 11 years older than the defendant, and they dated for almost 20 years. But she feels he only stayed with her because she paid for everything. Lisa's suing her ex-boyfriend today for unreturned property. Defendant Kevin Somerville admits that while he was in jail, Lisa looked out for him and took care of him. But she constantly accused him of cheating, even while he was locked up. He's countersuing because he claims Lisa got him fired from his job. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. May now be seated. Start with you. Um, me and Kevin was in a relationship for almost 20 years. I'm 11 years older than him. The relationship was kind of rocky because I felt as though he was just with me because I was paying for everything. No, that, that, that. And he had told a couple of people that I was too old or I was looking old, but I still stayed with him. Um, when did things, when did you see signs of that type of uh, situation? Truthfully, <laughs> truthfully, Your Honor, throughout the whole relationship. Starting like that? Right. Okay. Um, People were telling you already when you started that you he was saying that you were his sugar mama. <laughs> no, that's basically, not true, God. No. Basically. People were telling you that. Okay. Right. And a lot of it came from his family members saying little things that I would catch. But what he may have said in front of them. Right. Right. And I could tell how he treated me when we were around his family members. Mm. Um, I still stayed with him. He's generally a nice person, other than him being the way he was, because he was treating me kind of bad. He was. Um, Kevin was in a relationship twice with females that worked at his job. Now, mind you, true, Your God. Honor, I'm driving him to work, and I'm picking him up from work, and I guess they would be laughing at me, you know, because everybody knew what was going on besides How did you find me. Out? Um, I found out because he left his phone in my car. I didn't give it right back to him. I called him, but I did look through his phone. I didn't look through his phone. I went straight to the emails. I looked straight to the emails, and there it was. I took him his phone. I never said anything. But can you imagine how I felt? Dropping well, he this. denies it, so I I don't know whether it's true or not. You say it happened. It's said, true. It it's not true. You say you didn't bother to show him. Usually, when you're trying to convince someone who's defending themselves, you say, "Look, I got the evidence right here." So I don't know whether it happened or not. I don't know whether to believe. It or I not. eventually said something to him. Right oh, okay. then, I didn't say oh, anything. Okay. What did I you just handed. Say? I eventually told him. No, that did you show him? No, I oh, gave so him his phone gone, back. You mentioned it. Yeah, he oh. eventually took it out his phone, but <laughs> huh? I went to the girl page and everything. In fact, Your Honor, I contacted her husband because she was married, mm -hmm. and I said something to her husband about. How did you find it. out about this other lady? The other lady I found out kind of later on. How? Something was wrong with her car. Mm -hmm. He took, and I was there. Mm -hmm. He, she followed us to. Well, a car shop that one of his friends owed. And his friend basically told me that he was in a relationship with the girl because his friend was mad because he brought the girl to the shop with me. And he felt as though Kevin was putting him into something. Right. So he told me. That's how I found out about the second female. All right. So when you mention these instances to him, what would he say or what has he said? He said that he wasn't in a relationship with her. The girl... Is that what you're saying today? I'm not in a relationship, never was. So he's saying the never. same thing. Well, we know he wasn't in a relationship with her. The I girl, don't know anything. Well, I... <laughs> no, Your Honor, I knew... You worked there. I knew because I told her... Um, I told her husband what happened. The girl got mad because he grabbed her or tried to kiss her or something. And she told her husband that? No, that was in the text message. That was in the email message. She said that she didn't like that he grabbed her at work of however she said it. Is this I, the woman with the husband? Right. 
I told How about the other woman? What, that was another email? Right. That, no, that wasn't another email. This is another female. Right. Hey, how, did, how, did that, how did you discover that communication? His friend at the shop. You want to give Which, me, defend yourself to some I know, confusing information, allegations? Yes. Um, I met um, Miss Randall around 2003. I was just coming home from federal jail. And, you know, I went back to my mom's house because I didn't have nowhere to go. And, you know, I see her, you know, she moved across the street. She was new in the neighborhood. You know, I see her come out on her um, her porch, you know. Long story short, you know, we started talking and everything was good. You know, I was a little I was a little immature because I just was coming out the system. I, I was running around rapidly. You know, I, I started getting into trouble again and. You know, I was doing some wrong things towards her. In what way? Doing wrong things toward her. You know, Cheating. Communicate with females. And, you know, I was, uh, you know, I was living a life. You know, the first time I got, you know, went to federal prison was for shipping automobiles out the country. You know, so I was making good money and everything. So when I went into jail and came back out, I had nothing. You know, I had nowhere to stay for real. I didn't have no money and nothing. What's new? Huh? huh? With that scenario. Oh. <laughs> people, rich guy, I made a lot of money. I was shipping 30 cars a day over to Europe. You got any place for me to stay? <laughs> <laughs> they take everything from me. They know how I go. They, they take everything <laughs> from me. And, you know, so. And then you know, all you got left is stories. The girl got mad because he grabbed her or tried to kiss her or something. Did she told her husband that? No, that was in the email message. Is this I, the woman with the husband? Right. I now told, how about the other woman? What, that was another email? Right. That No, that wasn't another email. This is another female. Right. Just, how, did, how did that... <laughs> Plaintiff Lisa Randall is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims Lisa got him fired from his job for harassing his female co-workers. Go ahead. I got back into the life. I switched it up a little bit. I started, you know, um, messing with counterfeit money, credit cards, and wound up going back to jail again. Miss Randall, she looked out for me. She was coming. Every time. She was coming to see me. Everything was well. And, you know... Oh my um she she said that I was cheating on her up at the jail. So you were telling people you were using her too. Her your family and your family were accusing uh her of being a sugar mama. All those things that, that she said. No, that earlier. wasn't true. Um Miss Randall was real laid back, you know, and I was like a guy always on the go. Mm -hmm. You know, I never I never said that because I was hustling, you know, I was making my own money. You know, so I never looked for the, you know, for me to use. I bought her expensive pocketbooks. You know, we've been on trips. We, you know, we've been places. But I carry him throughout the whole relationship, yeah. the whole 19 and a half years. I paid everything. Well, somebody telling a big lie. He said he was getting money, big money. He was a big fellow that on was the before street. Me. In and out of the federal penitentiary. That he went in for cars. He got the game on the fraud, came <laughs> out, put the fraud game down, got busted again. Went in the federal <laughs> penitentiary. He met some guys in New York who wanted him to take two, three hundred of them things. And he said, I ain't got nobody to give it to because I'm a con man. I ain't ever got no real <laughs> money other than for five years. So he had a three to five year run. He got off of some other products, didn't know how to move it. He said, I'm just a con player. And then he came home to you. He came you back took to care me of him again. For 17 years. And that's, no, that's funny because it's kind of, you kind of right now, honor. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, yeah, yeah, but, 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 it was 19 and a half. You're right. It was a 17. It was 19 and a half. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. But your honor, um, through all of that, you know, she looked out for me and took care of me. And then I came home and I really wanted to change my life this time. And, you know, I started looking for jobs, started being more, you know, a little more mature, a little more responsible. Good. And, you know, I had a few jobs, you know, and then the pandemic hit. You know, so I lost some jobs, you know, but yeah, I always... who were you cheating with then? <laughs> were you all still together during the pandemic? Yes. You're locked down. That's the time that you... How could you cheat? You no, that, it, got it got worse than... It got worse than... It got worse than the worse. pandemic. Yeah, during the pandemic, it got worse. Weren't y'all living together? Yes. 
<laughs> what what, what <laughs> would you tell her? There's a deadly virus outside. We don't really know how it's getting to people, how many at a time. Your Honor. Most people who are getting it are dying in the early days of it. Your Honor, so if Augusta. you're walking around in and out the house, because it, so yes. it got so bad, exactly. bad at times, I'd rather be out there exactly. with the virus than being oh, there. Oh, so well. it was one of those lockdowns yeah, 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 where it, it turned bad because yes. you're around your woman. Yes. And I tell people all the time, it helped our relationship. Linda and I, because I found out I can be around her all the time. I that's didn't know love. That. That's I true didn't think love. I could. That's true <laughs> I'm like, love. I'm like most men. Who thinks that they can be around their wife 24-7? I bet you there's not a man in America who, if he's being honest, can say, oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind being around my wife sitting up under her 24-7. <laughs> oh, that's the most desirable part of life. No. Well, well sir. And so, but for me, it became, oh, I can do this. This isn't so bad after all. All right, that's cool. With you and many, many other men, it was like, oh my God, <laughs> worst thing ever happened to me. You thought you was back in prison. You I already said that stuff so for like a halfway house, back at the halfway <laughs> house. <laughs> Go out, smoke break, go out, you know, TV time and <laughs> time to eat, you know, scrutinizing me, eating everything. What was he telling you when he was going during this deadly pandemic? I knew what he was going to do. What would he say, though? Make up a lie. I'm going to the Every grocery the store and the line is three hours long because everybody's trying to get the same thing. Everybody's trying to get toilet paper. Uh, I went to 10 stores looking for toilet paper. His and excuse they didn't have was he going to his, his mother's house. Head. I bet that was one of the stories. <laughs> That's you know? what his excuse was. He that was going one to of his mother's house. But she was sending me on all the missions. Oh, yeah, he had to check on mama that. for sure. That was, <laughs> oh, yeah, had nothing to do with that. You couldn't touch that. Or the toilet I paper. I couldn't say anything. I went to 10 stores looking for toilet paper. You can't touch that. No. He gave you bus proof game. Bus proof. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. He can't cut it in any of those. <laughs> I'm going to see my mama. She's at risk. <laughs> You're at risk. <laughs> Man, I'm going to get some toilet paper. <laughs> 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 the best you can say. <laughs> he said, I'm just a con player. And then he came home to you. He came and you back took to care me of him again. For 17 years. And that's, no, that's funny because it's kind of, you kind of right now, honor. <laughs> but, see, but, I see. Me. I but, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know it was 19 and a half. You right. It was a 17. It was 19 and a half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Plaintiff Lisa Randall is suing her ex-boyfriend who claims Lisa got him fired from his job for harassing his female co-workers. Go ahead. Your Honor, so I get a good job. I get a management position. Okay. And I get in, you know, I'm Dunkin' Donuts. You know, I'm good. making good money, you know, got a good relationship with the owners, you know, corporate and everything. Miss mm -hmm. Randall felt as though I needed a job that females didn't work at. <laughs> So I said, I said, well, where's, it? I said, well, where's a job in America that females don't work at? And then from what I've seen, the females is, they the boss. You they a real top, they job the good. besides yeah, working around kids. What is a real job? It's <laughs> teenagers there, it it's kids the there. <laughs> like she That's said, all a real, what is all a real job? That was a, a real job I was paying taxes and, you know, you getting know a paycheck. And mind you, I don't even get income tax return. The federal feds take everything. You know, I owe them three point five million dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm on taking care. I'm on a federal lien. Like mm -hmm. I don't have nothing. And for her to come to my job and me lose my job. Now we got to talk about that. That's not that. true. That's your counterclaim. Let's start with the property mm -hmm. you're suing him for. What is that? The property that I'm suing him for was some belongings that I had in my storage. Mm -hmm. um, he got a storage at the same place I had a storage. I kept asking him different things. Is, this, is my stuff okay? And he'll say, yeah, whatever, everything's fine. I would have paid him, I would have gave him the money to pay for the storage had I known he wasn't going to pay for it. Kevin didn't even have... So it was forfeited and they sold the item? Right. He didn't even have the storage for six months. Four months later, the storage was sold. I think he got his belongings out and kept mine in. That's what I think. Because why he didn't let me know that they were about to sell my storage? I had things. Do you have as any um, 
Did someone tell you he took his things out or they saw him removing things? Nobody said it. I went to the um to the storage place and I asked the lady. She knew me because I had my stuff there for like two years. So she gave me the information. Okay. She said that this so what was the agreement on him paying for the store? What was the agreement over who was responsible? He agreed that he was responsible for my belongings. For how long? Forever? For as long as they were there? Right. As long as he no, had his storage. True, he was gonna that's pay not for true. It. Yes, he but never asked his me. things were in the same unit? Right. Your, your things and his it, things. Yes, Your Honor. Even though you're telling me he was, uh, he had agreed to oversee both and the entire unit, why do you think he would... Uh, because that's the way he is. He's just that type no, of person. He's sneaky. Of he's slimy. And just remove his things. So he must have wanted to punish you for some reason. Mm, what right. What did he have to do that? Because he don't really like me. He tells that's people that would, he so hates he wouldn't my have taken guts. Responsibility in the first place. All right, sir. What do you want to tell me about the storage? Well, the Your Honor, I, and what happened? Well, Your Honor, I had got a big storage room, and it was on the outside, one of the outside storage units. Because I had started a lawn care business, oh. I tried to get it to you know something positive. You know, I bought, I took my own money, no help, no pandemic money, no nothing, and bought lawn mowers, about time. Bought weed whackers, everything, and I went out and started doing jobs. It was a, it was good. I got a lot of jobs, but that was the problem. I had got too many jobs, and then I get to a house, and a person went me at that house for. You know, they always change it. I'm putting out flowers and marching. Then they went this over. So, you know, I didn't really have any workers to work with me. So I started losing money. I sent her a text message and an email. Let her know, look, things getting hard for me. I'm lo about to lose everything. You know, I would appreciate it if you, you know, pay some money on the storage or help me out because- You did mention that? Be Your Honor, that's not Because true. the first, sir, the first month was like- those, I got it. Do you have any of those written communications? No, I don't. That discuss her payment toward it or helping you with the storage unit? No, when I asked her a text message, she never got back. Okay. She must have right. been filling herself, so there was uh, a, got a okay. new man so or whatever and didn't care about Let me hear property. from you regarding the notice. Did you ever receive any notice before finding out it was gone? He had told me by now that the storage was sold. I didn't believe them. I went to it the storage place in sold. November. No, it wasn't sold yet, the sir. They, they gave me a notice. They gave me a notice for Let auction. Let me back up. I'm at the point of when did you find out it was, he wasn't paying? I found out about four months. I, I found out in November. I didn't have okay. any inclination. I found out by going to the storage place. Uh -huh. That's Asking how I got my what information. The status is. Right. And they said the status is is gone. Yeah, because <laughs> I I I was calling there. Yeah, I'm just saying they said when you went there, yes. they said your things have been sold. Yes. I had I was calling, but they said that they couldn't give me any information unless Kevin okay. Okay, but the first thing you knew of uh, anything about the fee, it being delinquent, it had already been sold. Right, exactly. All right, that's what I'm trying to understand. Miss Randall felt as though I needed a job that females didn't work at. <laughs> So I said, <laughs> I said, well, where's it? I said, awful. well, where's a job in America that females don't work at? And then, from what I've seen, the females is they the boss. You need a real job besides working around kids. It's a real job. That's what she said. It's she wanted you to make serious, it to the serious. NBA. <laughs> Plaintiff Lisa Randall is suing her ex-boyfriend, who claims Lisa got him fired from his job for harassing his female co-workers. What discussions did the two of you have about your things being uh, sold off? Your Honor, he said like nonchalantly, like, oh, I got you. Like, I got you. Like, leave me alone. Okay. Did you tell her that? You got her? No, I did, sir. All right. Do, are there any co written communications regarding this case at all? Anything? No. Text, email, tape, anything? No, sir. Okay. And your counterclaim for 2500 is for what? Emotional distress. Yes, as I was saying, sir, um, she came to my job, baby, lose my job. How? Um, at first she was coming to pick me up, and then she started coming two hours early, said it a lot. I'm not no taxi cab. Uh, uh, ma'am. An hour and a half early. Then I started hearing talking from the girls that work there. They coming off that break like 
saying little things, you know, and... She came to pick you up early. That's all I've heard, <laughs> sir. She comes to pick no, you up she from your job all the time. Then she's, this time she came early. She what started, else? She started harassing my employees, saying How? I was messing with them. She was saying things outside. So when they came into the store, uh -huh. they was telling me that one girl, one day, girl said, yo, Kev, you better get your wife. And she was harassing them, point blank. So That's then it got, it got, to, a, on, it got to a point uh -huh. where my assistant manager, she said I was messing with, you know, and... I know I was in an office, and next thing you know, the girls come to me, yo, Kev, you're good. they're about to fight. Uh, uh, uh. I run out, I didn't see, I don't know if they swung at each other or what, I just see the commotion. I see some of, the, some of my staff on the, my assistant manager's side, and I just see them barking and cursing at each other. Uh, they got back to my boss, and I got, I got fired. Did you have an altercation at his workplace? No, okay. no, sir. All right, so she said this never happened. It was all, and I don't, like I said, so I don't know if it got really physical, grabbing. So you know nothing of what you're talking only, about. His assistant manager came to my car. Mm -hmm. I asked her to get away. I don't want to be your friend. We're not friends. Why, why you get hostile with her? Because I knew that Kevin was messing with somebody inside the job, and I Here just felt again. like. Now you're going to come up to the man's job, start and mess. No, I didn't start anything. I just think. don't want to be Get away friends. from my car. Ask you, man, was there altercation? I believe there was. You denied there was. I believe you've perjured yourself. I'm going to dismiss your claim and grant him his. I'm so sorry to hear Thank that you, you lost your job because she came oh, up wow. there with some mess like that. Uh, Have a good it, day. Sir. Good luck to you, brother. After all you have went through to get your life together, she comes up there by some woman and gets you fired. Thank you, Arnold. Right, right. And it didn't have to go down like this. I'd like to say we could have I don't want to say this. nothing to you. You and need to pay me for my belongings and storage. I have nothing to say.